They are human. Most of us didn't even choose to be attracted to young boys. We were born that way. We can't help the way we are, and if you all can't understand that, well, then, I guess you'll just have to put us away. Dude, you have sex with children. Yeah, you know, we believe in equality for everybody and tolerance and all that gay stuff, but dude, fuck you. Seriously. All right, that's enough. You're all going to be put away for a long time. Man, the things going on with Chris Tyson just keep getting worse and worse and worse. Every single time I open my YouTube app, there's something new. And after reading all those Discord leaks and chat logs between him and Mr. Beast, for real, I am actually more shocked at Mr. Beast than I am with Chris. I mean, Chris spelled it out for himself that basically told everyone, I am attracted to children in the worst way, especially with his fucked up Twitter posts, Twitter messages, interactions with underage fans, and supreme allurement for Lolly and Cartoon CP, and especially his association with Shadman, probably the most disgusting and notorious artist ever. But Jimmy, Mr. Beast, I expected better. And to be quite honest, I am absolutely shocked that he knew about Chris's obsession. What we once thought was just a conspiracy when all this just started coming out has actually been confirmed. And that usually never fucking happens. He knew about Chris's obsession, but never once thought about disassociating himself from him. Especially if he had to go through Chris's obsession and Chris constantly talking about it on Discord. It's one thing to be friends with someone for a very long time, but friends fight sometimes, and there's always limits to when someone takes it too far. Chris was already taking it too far before he became trans for the trend's sake, or for more nefarious reason, using his new identity to defend himself if if his pedophilic beliefs and behavior ever became public. Look, I don't know what it is with this world, but for some reason, there's this invisible wall blocking persecution to anyone that starts identifying as trans, even though they could be the most degenerate garbage human being on the planet. But off topic, but you kind of get that. There are so many people that are just becoming trans for the trend and automatically thinks that they're completely immune to any repercussions, persecution, or even judgment by people. And what's worse is the trans community starts defending them out of defending them for trans' sake. Like, you do not want these people representing your community. They do not represent it in a positive light, so stop blindly defending them. But in my opinion, the biggest shock here is that Beast knew, and still stuck with Chris despite his before his PR team and marketing decisions started to strain from the controversy of all this. I get it, Jimmy is a decent businessman, but for fuck's sake, he could have disconnected Chris from his life the moment he started going public with all this shit. Like, he really should have just been like, whoa, I do not associate with any of this. And that would have just shut Chris completely down years ago. What's even fucking dumber is the people that were defending Chris. Even before he became quote-unquote trans. Calling his tweets about this random pedophile comment and behavior edgy humor. And then complaining about... Oh, edgy humor is not being okay anymore. We gotta defend the sake of edgy humor. Listen, dumbasses. What Chris has said in the past as about these <laughs> comments, what he said was no fucking pun, nothing fucking clever in wordplay, no fucking dick. It's just a straight up disgusting statement. There's nothing funny about it at all. Chris is basically dead and buried in terms of being associated with Mr. Beast and his followers and shit like that. But now Jim, Jimmy himself has dragged himself deeper into controversy over this. When he could have, at any given time, just fucking detached himself from Chris. 
Now everything is coming out as a massive wave of destruction toward his brand, his public relations, his marketing, and now his reputation is on the line. One other thing I will just add about Chris is just his excuses that blaming mental health is literally the worst possible excuse ever used for pedophile traction. How many other YouTubers have used that excuse when they were caught red-handed? Minilad, Dream, Sans, Onion Boy. Look, I've been depressed and dealing with unaliving myself thoughts and attempts for most of my life, but never once has it crossed my mind that, yeah, f***ing underage minors is the perfect outlet for that. And because of assholes like this complaining about their mental health and state of mind after being caught with their hands in a cookie jar, all the attention to people who are actually suffering mentally gets put on the shelf to make room for these fuckers. That's, that really pisses me off. There's going to be more and more shit coming out about this. And we're, a lot of us are just kind of along for the ride and seeing where it ends up being. With Chris now gone and trying and de completely detached by Beast himself from the Mr. Beast brand, we have no idea where the hell this is going to go. But we're all curious and we're all just kind of sitting on standby waiting for more to happen. What else is going to come out about this? What else is going to happen? happen is there going to be some legal action taken into it i have no fucking clue we just have to wait and see what happens in the future thank you guys for watching it's okay i'm transgender oh i i had no idea do whatever you want all the time